Hey everyone! <clears throat> Today I'm going to be doing my third project pan update. This is my self-care project pan where I basically include items from skincare, hair care, and body care. And I have seven items total that I go through each month and I try and make progress on. And if I finish an item, then I can bring in a new item the following month. I feel like this update is going to be some really good progress and some not so good progress. And I'll kind of get into that as we go through each item and explain what I mean. We are going to start with the letter A, which is our fragrance that we are using from the brand Aqualina, their pink sugar fragrance. This is one of the ones where my progress is not so good. So I only used this three times this past month. Yeah, it's not a lot. The reason that this perfume doesn't get used that often though is because I usually focus on my sample perfume that I use for my sample project piano first. And then once that's used up, then I use this for the remainder of the month. And that one just happened to take me most of the month to use up. Unfortunately, I didn't do as well as I did last month, but I, I kind of went backwards a little bit. It is what it is, kind of a little bit bummed. I couldn't even make a new mark on this. There was no movement visually. And then I did weigh this, and last month when I weighed it, it weighed 219.72 grams. And then when I weighed it this time around, it almost weighed exactly the same. It weighed 219.54 grams. So I went down, what did I go down? <laughs> Not much, uh, like a little bit less than 0.2 grams. There we go. Not the greatest progress to start off with, but we do have a couple of things that I did I did better in. Another dud. Why are these, these first couple ones such duds? I don't know. But the next one is the letter C, and this one is by Cetaphil, and it is their Sheer Hydration Replenishing Body Lotion. I only used this three times as well, so the same amount of times I used the fragrance, I used this one also. There is a reason I did not reach for this that often this past month. I had a knee injury and I couldn't do a whole lot of bending and, and things like that, so there wasn't a reason and I wasn't able to apply lotion all over my legs. It just wasn't possible for me. I didn't even make a new marking. I looked and it's it literally visually looks like it's in the exact same place. So fortunately not much progress here. As for weights, last month I weighed it and it weighed 150.8 grams and this time around I was actually surprised at the weight difference here because everything else was so minimal and almost non-existent but the weight difference like you can see a difference in the weight. So this time around it weighed 141.95 grams. So that's what like nine grams about that I was able to use up. That's the nice thing about tracking my progress in different methods, both visually, usage, and the weight, because hopefully at least one of them I can see a difference in. It's more data to look at, it's more things to go off of, so I like that. Next is the letter E, and this is the Eva NYC. Their Gotta Bounce Curled Fining Cream. This was really nice, I liked this. And I actually used this up. So we have really good progress with this one. Um, it is completely gone, it's empty. I actually scraped as much as I possibly could out of here and put it in a little jar, and I've used up everything that I put in that jar as well. So completely empty, finally have Good progress to share with you. This one I used 12 times until I used it up completely. This took me a total of 40 uses to use this up completely from where I started when I rolled this in into the project. Even though this is empty I did weigh it because I did want to kind of compare and I also really think it's interesting to see how much like the empty container weighs. So last update when I weighed this and still had some product in here it weighed 64.8 86 grams and now it being completely empty it weighs 41.37 grams so an empty container weighs about that 
Moving on to the letter F, I have this Freeman mask that I have been working on. And this is the avocado and oatmeal clay mask. And I actually was able to make a new marking on here. Do an up close and I'll show you kind of the difference of where I was before and now where I'm at when I bend it. So there's a little bit of visual progress this month to share. I used this four times, which is less than what I used last month. Last month I used it six times, so I did use it a few times less but that's okay. I think once a week is still not bad. Last month when I weighed this, it weighed 120.72 grams. And then when I weighed it this month, it weighed 108.21 grams, about 12 grams that I went through and used up this past month within those four uses. Next, I had a product from the letter L, which is the La Roche Posay Epiclar Duo Dual Action Acne Treatments. And I've really been working on this one. I also was able to make some visual progress with this one as well. So I will give you a close up real quick and show you. It's actually really significant, at least compared to the last couple of months, progress visually. And I think, I think this one might be gone at the end of this coming month. Like I feel like this is gonna be an empty in my next update. I used it 36 times this past month which is similar to my February usage, but definitely way less than last month's usage. Last month I used it 58 times, so 36 is not much at all. Now that is like day and night, and I do know that I didn't need to use this every day and night this past month, so that is kind of a good thing, because it means that I didn't have a lot of acne that I had to take care of or treat and things like that. So it's good that I slowed down my progress on this, but I also do want to see progress with these updates, but I am seeing progress visually, so that's good. There was a little bit of progress as far as the weight difference goes. So last month it weighed 9.79 grams, and then when I weighed it right before this video, it weighed 7.8 grams. So I used about two grams this past month of this product. Next product that I have here starts with the letter N, not your mother's, and this is their Blonde Moment Purple Treatment Shampoo. I used this six times this past month. It's one less time than I used it last month. It's the same amount of times I used it in February. So I feel like six to seven is probably a steady amount of realistically how many times I'm gonna use it each month. I cannot see through this container. I cannot bend it. There's so much air still in here. So unfortunately I can't show you the visual progress, but I do have some weight differences that I can share with you. So last month I weighed this and it weighed 125.13 grams. And then this month when I weighed it, it weighed 101.73 grams. So that is what, like 24, around 24 grams less which is, I feel like, really good. So that's exciting progress. The last product I had in this project is a sheet mask, and this was with the letter O, and the brand is OK. And this sheet mask is their Hydrating Bamboo Water Sheet Mask with Turmeric. And this was really nice. It was a one-time use, so I only got one use out of it. I think there's a little, there was a little bit of essence left over, which I usually like to use then as like a serum for however long I can use it. And I think I was able to do two applications um, with whatever was left over in the packaging. I don't have any weight difference or any, I can't show you visual difference or anything like that. So this one was pretty quick and simple, but it is progress because I did use it up, which means that I will be able to roll something in in its place. I used up the sheet mask and I used up the curl cream, which means that I can bring in a hair care product and a skincare product. And I have to stick with one of the letters that the brand starts with that I have left in the alphabet on my spreadsheet that I haven't used before. This was a bit of a task because there were quite a few products like it has happened in the past that I wanted to put in here, but I had already used the letter. So what I ended up with for hair hair is the letter H and the brand is Hass. And this is actually conditioner that I have opened kind of recently. I already made a little bit of progress on here. I'll do a close up and show you kind of where I'm at, what my starting point is going to be. This is the Curl Care Detangling Conditioner. 
I also did a starting weight so we know what to compare it to. So as of right now, this product currently weighs 305 grams. I'm not sure if that is the max that my scale goes to or not. I'm not really sure. So we'll just see. Um, that could be a bit of a lie as far as the weight goes. I don't remember what the cap is. We're going to go with that number and just have that be our start, whether that's how much it actually weighs or not. That's just what we're going to go with. All right, and then for our skincare product that we are going to be introducing into this project, I have this guy here. Now this is a serum. I was wanting to pull in a serum and this was one of the only serums that started with the brand of a letter that I still had left to pick from on my spreadsheet for this project and so it's not actually like a full size it's more of like a travel size but it, I have two of these actually and the other one is significantly smaller like a lot smaller so I think it's okay even though it's not an actual full size it's still a really good size and this is still going to take me a while to go through I already know it so this is a 0.5 fluid ounce container or bottle worth of product. This is completely brand new. I have never used this. I've never opened this before. So we are starting completely fresh with this product, which is kind of fun and interesting because a lot of the products that I have in this project or that I have had in this project haven't been completely new, brand new, as soon as I introduce them. I usually have used them a little bit before bringing them into the project. So this one is brand new and I did weigh it as a, to get a starting weight and it currently weighs 42.86 grams. So that's going to be what we are going to compare it to going forward. So that is everything that I have to share with you, all of the updates that I have for this project, things that I used up, things I rolled in, and just how I've been doing overall throughout each item. Let me know if you are doing a project pan, what items are you using, how are you doing, what is your progress looking like. Let me know down below, do you enjoy watching these project pan videos? I know I enjoy watching them, I enjoy making them for you guys. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you do. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified of all my future uploads. That would really mean a lot to me and I will see you all next time. I hope you all have a wonderful and beautiful rest of your day. Take care everyone, bye.